So Sipan Hassan, then be interested to see if she slots right onto the pace as usual. She goes to the back early on, as is her want, and just uh, settles herself in over the first lap. The Rafi just elbowing her way through with 200 meters to go. So it's the two Ethiopians who've raced each other so many times over the years. Sigai just getting cut up by a teammate. Sion moves ahead, has a look behind. Arafi is there. Hassan still got a chance. Not too far away. Mbai is also moving up. But out in the lead, Sayom, has she got much left? She's looking round everywhere for danger and it's there with Arafi and it's there with Hassan. And Jeb Kwaskai trying to get through. Uh, Nanyando it is, they're moving through on the inside. But it's Arafi with that 800 meter pace is just about going to have enough to take this. Can she hold it to the line? She does. Arafi gets the win. And which should Kinzebi Dababa will turn up. She ran very strongly in Doha. We're on a personal best for 3,826. So three and three quarter laps of the track then, the metric mile. Will they go with the pacemakers who have been tasked with going out at 63 and hitting 800 and 207? And then a slight slowing to 1,240, which is four minute pace exactly. You can see that's a lot of traffic and pushing and shoving there to get themselves sorted out after the first 150 meters. Not exactly steady pace as Dibaba grimaces now, looks up at the big screen in front of him and see what sort of damage this surge has done. And Segai looks spent. 200 meters to run, and the Ethiopian in second and third place going backwards. And Laura Muir has the world record holder in her sights. But this is more like the Kentucky de Baba we're used to. We saw two or three seasons ago as she kicks into the straights again now, wrestling to stay ahead of Laura Muir, who has that target. The European champion chasing hard the world record holder, but I think she's going to run out of track here tonight, or is she? It's going to be mighty close. Muir has put on a very, very determined charge to get back to the world record holder, but 60.3 there, 356.29 by Gonzalo Pantababa to win by two or three meters from Laura Muir. That was a big performance from Gonzalo Pantababa. So women's 1500 meters. And they've asked for 800 meters. 2.04, which will bring them out at about 3.53, 3.54 pace. And uh, well, Steve, it'll be interesting to see whether De Barber can continue that winning streak, having been beaten by uh, Helena Beery in the 3,000 metres at the start of the season. Segai is gone, we're down to two, with 200 metres to go. And Hassan looks really well placed here. And look at the grimace on De Barber's face, having to work so, so hard. And Hassan, surely, mentally now, must fancy her chances. De Barber holding the inside line as she must. Hassan being forced to go round. What can Dababa hold on in the uh, the final 100 meters here? Dababa, has she found another gear? Just as she did in Rome against Lira Muir. She's done it again. Dababa, let's look at the clock. The meeting record, 3.59.53. The meeting record will go 3.55.47. It's the fastest time in the world this year. The women's a brave like Gabe Mile. Named such in honor of uh, Gabe Grunewald passed away from cancer last month after a long 10-year battle with several bouts of surgery and chemotherapy. And, uh, she and her resilience and determination to keep on racing became a symbol for the battle to try and overcome adversity. A pacemaker there, goodness me, Lyakova blasted away. What can Hassan run for this final lap when Mastakova set the world record to run a final lap of about 60 seconds, give or take a couple of tenths. She's blasting it around the final up end there, Hassan. The gap is monstrous. It's going to be 35 metres back to Segai. The pack are closing up on her as her legs begin to falter. But Hassan now into the home straight. Four minutes on the clock. She's got 70 metres to go. Driving towards the line. It's going to be mighty close to the world record. That first lap may have set things dry. She's still going to get there. Well, for 12.33, she has got the world record. Unbelievable, it never looked on at 800 metres. It's 1,500 metres. Three and three quarter laps of the track. And they've asked for 64 second pace per lap. And we saw that great race between Laura Muir and Faith Kim Yeg on the Olympic and world champion in uh, 
at Stanford a few weeks ago when Laura Muir went with 6.50 to go. Foster Halvum, she hasn't shaken her off just yet, but she's putting away here. Coming home with, what, 120 to go. And that trademark rocking style, Laura Muir gritting her teeth. And now I feel the resistance has gone. Foster Halvum has gone, and she's been reeled in now by Nanyondo as well. But Laura Muir, brilliant again. Laura Muir coming home. The gap one, five, six, seven, eight meters. The winning time, 358.25. She said she felt she was in 356 type shape, maybe even PB shape. But today it wasn't that sort of race. 358 will do. It's a win.